Today, I'm going to take a look at these hams based on how they were cured and the soundness of them. And I'm going to uh, use a simple process that we call a probe. Some of you will call this an ice pick, <laughs> but it's a probe, stainless steel. Now you can use other metal. However, when you smell it, other metals will give you an off smell. Stainless steel is going to give you the trueness of what's on the inside. <coughs> you see, you heard the old story about we are what you eat. The same is true here with this animal. If you feed it a bad ration, or a poor ration, or if you don't change the ration, close to a slaughter time, your product is not going to finish the same. What am I talking about? You're looking at the percent of protein that's going to be fed to this animal before slaughter. Normally, what you're going to feed, you're going to have corn in the diet, you're going to have soybean meal in the diet, and your percent will go up and down. You can also have peanut in there. But if you use peanuts, you want to pull that peanut out of your ration at least five to six weeks before slaughter. Otherwise, you're going to have soft fat on this hand. Just remember that. You can feed whatever leaves from the garden off of your collops and, and cabbages and carrots and potatoes and all of that. But as you harden out for slaughter, your basic ingredients basically ought to go to corn. The more corn you put in the diet, the more flavor you're going to have in your meat. And I know some of you don't believe that, but you just try. Old people, if you think back, they would, close to slaughter time, they would take corn, boil it, put it in a barrel, and they fed that soaked corn to the hog. They call it cleaning them out. Put a little potash in it. Yeah, they put a little potash in it. But the bottom line was to harden that fat so that when they hang it up in the smokehouse, when that temperature changed, you're now going to have some fat that's going to stay 